take you up until two here on the program. Get to a mixed bag later on this hour. I also got some heat and Nets tickets to give away. I don't hey, like man. I, hey, man. Hey, man. Very, uh, whoa. I got new toys to play with. Sorry. You're fidgeting, dude. I know, but I got new He's stuff. He's fidgeting. It, you were right in the damn middle, and then you kept moving. What's up with the orange light? What do you mean? This thing? Yeah. Why isn't it, it green? Means... See what I'm saying? So, uh, mic on. Usually it's, uh, it's green. No, nah, it's not. It's red. red. Nah, it's never green. It's no, you're a, thinking of red. the on-air light outside. Yeah. Okay, when but you... that light's usually red when it's Dude, on. You're quibbling. It's the color. Yeah. Like it's it's because it's, it's, it's just it's... the lighting and the color. You want me to like put the ring light on? Outside is 7 p.m. right now. That's why. Does that make it look more red? <laughs> nah. That just makes me look more fat. Looking good. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Miami Dolphins. They are back on the practice field today. Christian Wilkins. Mm. He uh, talked about the defense seemingly getting right at the right time. This is Christian. Um, I just think the biggest, you know, biggest thing and the thing I'm most kind of proud of or that you were trying to focus on and encouraging as the defense is getting better each day. I uh, don't look at the big picture things like, oh, this or that. No, like just focus on the steady improvement each and every day, being your best every day, bringing it out there. I will look up at the end of the year. Um, you know, even to this point, we made I feel like we made improvements each week. Um, each day we've had that mindset, so we'll continue that mindset. And um, like I'm saying, at the end of the season, we'll look up and, and see see where we're at. It does appear that things have spiced up on OnlyFangs.com. Well, it, it, and it pretty much coincided with everybody getting healthy and coming back. Definitely helped. Definitely helped with uh, uh, with sometimes, that. Sometimes, and and I and I would say this with older coaches. Sometimes you try to protect you know, players because you're unsure and you really don't have to. So when we looked at this defense before everybody got healthy, it's a totally different defense now. And we would we would say, oh, he's comfortable with the guys that came back. He's comfortable with Jalen Ramsey and X or whatever. And when those young guys were in or those new guys or uh, Eli Apple, he almost went out of his way to not put them in harm's way. And some coaches think, hey, you're the backup, time to step up, and we're going to do what we do. So I don't know what the answer is to that, but it's all working out now. You know, but but when those guys were hurt, the defense was, you know, not as good as they are now. Christian Wilkins was also asked about the idea. He is now he has four and a half sacks on the season through nine games. That ties a career high already. For Christian Wilkins, uh, this is asked if this is a product of the system. I mean, that's probably just to, to a lot of different things, um, you know, and, you know, hopefully, I, you know, we can continue to improve and I can continue, continue and improve it individually. And, you know, we'll just get better and better each and every day. Um, it's it's actually. Being in a three, four. It's actually harder for him. So these four and a half, half sacks are probably better than the numbers because he's getting a lot of double coverage. He's getting a lot of because he's in there by himself when before he'd have Sealer or somebody else right next to him or one body over. You, you know what I mean? Mm. Well, they've so, that, that front has been menacing. Really like, you know, listen, they had a rough start to the year, but they really have been rolling, especially the pass rush has rounded ooh, into four. Yeah. Uh, Bradley Chubb's been awesome. Jalen Phillips, especially when he got healthy. Phillips was very – I mean, JP was really talking this week about, like, he said his confidence was really shook coming off of that injury, and uh, it wasn't really in a good place. It was the Sunday night football game, he said, against uh, Lane Johnson where he got a sack that he feels was really the turnaround for him. Honestly, for me, with that, I was really anxious leading up to the game because coming off injury, obviously a big, you know, 
uh, prime time game against the Eagles, stuff like that, going against Lane Johnson. And like I said, my confidence had been kind of shot the the weeks prior to that. So I was really anxious leading up into it. And honestly, I was kind of like second guessing myself, like thinking, damn, I don't even know if I can beat this guy. I don't know if I can you know, just straight win and get a sack. I was like, you know, I'll be able to run around, maybe get a second effort sack or something like that. But to be able to go out there and actually perform, like it was a good matchup. He obviously got me a few times. I got him a few times. But even just to be able to win against a guy like that, it gave me a lot of confidence. Um, I think when you when you first come back from injury, um, sometimes you're, you're wondering how much can I push this, mm -hmm. right? Am I all the way back? You need to do something on the field or get hit or put stress on the injury so that you feel confident that you can just unleash what you do, right? So when he's talking about confidence, he's not necessarily talking about his ability to do what he does, but more or less, is his body going to hold up or is he all the way back? Because you never really come back when you're 100%, right? It's almost there. And you can't, the one thing you can't do, you can't go into a locker room and say, I'm not playing until I'm 100%. Mm -hmm. They'll look at you and say, ain't nobody 100%. Right. So that's, I think that's the lack of confidence. And then when you have like an explosive play or like he said, a pass rush where, oh, okay, I can just, I can just relax and play. Well, they got to a point now he's gotten three straight games with a sack. So uh, it does definitely feel like he is uh, on the right path. He also talked about the, uh, the defense rounding into form. Here was Jalen Phillips. Who's a giant? Yeah, I mean, I think the Chiefs game was kind of a little taste of that. I just think that we play a lot more sound football overall. I think you can see with our run fits and with our coverage discipline, it's just like a lot more um, of a complete picture. You know, I think when I, just recently I was looking back, excuse me, at the Chargers game, all right? And, you know, I thought we played decent. We had some, you know, times where we nutted up and things like that. But just in general, I just felt like we were really sloppy um, just with our technique and with our run fits and things like that. And to see that compared to how we played in the Chiefs game, really the last couple of weeks, it's almost night and day, honestly. Um, so it's really just cool to, to see the, you know, fruits of our labor pay off. Um, and we're just going to keep stacking on that. Why did you pop up like a like a prairie dog with, with, with the term nutted up? Hey, yo. Because you gotta grow up, dude. Screw the me, bitch. me. No, don't wait, 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 wait. wait. Really? Yeah, yeah. So this is what this jackass did. He said I wanted to, but you did first. So I'm just gonna laugh at you, yeah. right? <laughs> like stop. stop. This is really immature of you, Leroy. <laughs> stop. stop, stop. No, we're not gonna do this. We're not gonna let you because I did it first. <laughs> Let you look up over at me, right? <laughs> no, hell no. Because uh -uh. I don't look. <laughs> and Robbie would have hit dumb. <laughs> well, I, just recently, I was looking back. Excuse me, at the Chargers game, all right? And you know, I thought we played decent. We had some, you know, times where we nutted up and things like that. But just yeah, exactly, dude. You know, fangs. I mean, too. and, and the, here's the problem. The old love. Here's the, here's the problem. <laughs> oh, okay. Here's the problem. The 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 phrase is buckled up. Well, I mean, I don't know. No, no, no. That, I'm, know. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you right now. Well, I don't, not according to JP. Jalen, Jalen Phillips says different. <laughs> Jalen, uh, do, do we have uh, Vic Fangio when he heard that the defense nutted up? What did he do? <laughs> Now it's OnlyFangs.com, dude. Take a quick break. <laughs> this. Dolphins will be back on the practice field uh, about an hour. Mike McDaniel going to talk to the media. He'll probably be indoors. Yeah, it's a nasty day, dude. It's a nasty day. Mm. Can't be doing this. Is, that gonna be, it's like, is it going to be nasty for Sunday? No. Be nice uh, this weekend, yeah. We got a little uh, any, any cold fronts coming in? I need some. I want something, dude. What you, what it's coming the other way. This is This is tropical weather. What the hell are you uh what are you what are you chugging there, dude? Ooh, you, got, you got some yeah, like orange juice going there. on there? What is smart that? smart fruit? Smart fruit? That's what it's called. Smart. Like it's yeah. smart water with fruit. Smart no, fruit? You, you mix it with you mix it with water and it's like nutrients. Okay. 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 Looks right. disgusting, if I had to be honest. Well, no, it tastes like uh juice. It's like the water I live in. Miami Dolphins uh coming up this That's week. Murky. 
the the line keeps going up. The Dolphins. I I walk in today what? and yeah, it keeps going up. The Dolphins are now up to twelve and a half. I think point favorites. I saw last night. They were you can't do it. They were uh they 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 are big time favorites. They might be the biggest favorites of the weekend. I'm pretty sure. Um, I know the biggest ones of the year was last week. Back down to twelve. Yeah. It was twelve and a half last night, but it's back down to twelve. Oh, the, bunch of- yeah. Even the this one's rising. Even the Lions mm. hosting the Bears. Lions are only nine point favorites. It's because it's a divisional game. Oh, that's why. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. Are they playing in in Chicago? Some pretty big spreads this weekend. Are they playing in Chicago? No, it's at home. Oh, all right. oh, yeah, that's strange. Uh, 49ers are 11 and a half point favorites over the Bucks. I got to tell you, this uh, week is going to be terrible. And not the, for me, three and up. The Cowboys are 10 and a half point road favorites. Are you one and five for now? They are, and yeah, you for now. One and five in the last two weeks, and you just mysteriously go go three and oh. He's he's got he's got to have belief. He's got to have belief. But the uh, the you know the, that's the motion you need. Just put yeah. a dart in your hand. The Cowboys. <laughs> are, the Cowboys are ten and a half point favorites against Carolina on the road, and uh, Washington's a nine and a half point favorite. So Washington's there is you Huge just talk about six games, mm-hmm. six games. Yep, where the spread is nine or or higher. Yep. Wow. But the Dolphins are the biggest favorite. But the Dolphins are the biggest favorite. And you know what? Dolphins are going to cover. I think they are too. I, ha- I walked in today. I won't say well, who because well, I don't want to. You get to pick first. I won't say who because I don't want to. I don't want to uh, expose them. But yeah. I, I had a little bit. of Somebody walked in. You know, not one of our sports people, but they were like mm. a little bit of cowardice. So they're like, because they were like, what is the what are the Dolphins favored by this week? Like nine? I said no. I think it's up to twelve and a half. I saw last night. Oh, because I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like. It. I'm like. Dolphin Van, you gotta, you mm. gotta get a. Oh, grip. that sounds like TC. No, it wasn't TC. No, oh. it wasn't TC. Oh, it was, it was, it wasn't a DJ. It was, it was another personnel here. Mm. But it was, uh, but I'm like, you gotta get a grip, dude, because Ooh. the Dolphins. First of all, they're great at home. They're great yes. at home. Oh, true, 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 true. They're great under Mike McDaniel at home. Two is great at home. They're great oh, at home. All right, you have a, you have. <laughs> name names, you coward. <laughs> you have, you have, this, this. Raiders team that look to feel themselves. I'm not saying they don't have talent. Obviously, they got talent. They got, you know, one of the best pass rushers, one of the best wide receivers. You know, it's it, they, they're they're galvanized right now. They're feeling like everybody is uh, you know, everybody's all these things are are coming together for them. I get you. I so understand. they need to be humbled. They need to be humbled. You know, they need to be they need to be humbled. You got one of you got a you got a a really good running back in Josh Jacobs, obviously. They got talent, but Come on, dude. If you are going to be here, this is my this is my thing. If you are going to be serious about contending, if you really think the Miami Dolphins, and I know not all the Dolphins are, are cowards, but the ones that are nervous that the Dolphins are going to Dolphin, right? This is where it's going to show. You go out there, you defend your home field, you put it on them. You've had a week off. You're coming off the bye. You're as healthy as ever. You're getting the guy who is going to be offensive rookie of the year back in your backfield. You got it all happening for you, baby. You're saying a lot of gibberish, dude. Let what me do you tell mean? You, let me tell you the real reason why the Miami Dolphins will cover. There's a coma is in the backfield. Oh, 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 and the oh, 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 in. Caught. Hill. Touchdown. Touchdown. Kevin Harlan on the call. KH dude. is back, dude. And by the way, dude, I tuned in last night. I was watching uh what was it? It was Nuggets versus Clippers. Oh. And Harlan was on the call. I was like, oh, what? Harlan. This guy gets around. Oh, I can't wait to hear Harlan yeah. again. He's got it. What's our average with him? I think I think I think it's I, I'm, I might be off in a couple. I think it's I think it's 45 points a game with Kevin Harlan. On the call, I think that's what it is, dude. It's ridiculous. I think that is how a, amazing is that? It's he's so good. Yeah, it's a perfect recipe to cover. He, I think he knows it too. He knows yeah. the Dolphin fan loves him, right? I like that though. We've got a relationship. We got a we got a little bit of a bromance with Kevin Harlan. Mm-hmm. Imagine, look, remember that bromance, Tony Romo, Josh Allen. Look how that's holding up, dude. I'd rather have a bromance with Kevin Harlan. 
Yo, what do you think old Tony Romo's thinking about his boy? <laughs> oh, Jim, I'm glad they got rid of that. Maybe they should make Tony Romo offensive coordinator of mm. the Bills. Does that pay better than what he's making as a broadcaster? Mm. Probably not. Probably he makes not a lot of money as a broadcaster. I saw Sean McDermott. You want to talk about being a fat cat? That guy's mailed it in ever since he got the bag. Oh, yeah, dude. He's been getting complaints. Still doesn't matter. Oh, Jim, I'm sorry I was counting my money. McDermott said that uh, Dorsey's offense was getting predictable. You know what's uh you know what else is I tell you what's not really? predictable yeah. knowing how many people are supposed to defend a field goal. <laughs> that definitely wasn't predictable. It's been the same. It's been the same though. It's strange. And and they weren't the ones rushed. Yeah. You knew it was coming. Right. So I don't understand. 12 yeah. men on the field, idiots. You know, and you probably won't block it either way. So do you really need to do any crazy changes or anything like that? You just kind of hope that the kicker gets you know, mixed up in the chaos. And he did, but you, you bailed him out. Take a quick break. Time to get to our favorite Ooh. Wednesday game. She is no longer in the starfish costume. Oh, hello, Jennifer. Hello, hello Jennifer. Ooh. Hi, guys. <laughs> Do you feel better? It feels weird. It feels weird not being in the costume today. You miss it at all? No. Oh, I, I don't. Rats off a ship is next. Rats off a ship. 